what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video today's video is super exciting because we're finally going to go try out our nitrous kit for the very first time we've gotten a bunch of things there's still a few things we need to do we've but we've got the race fuel we've got the spark plugs we need to gap them we need to put new spark plugs in and then we need to go ahead and drain the 93 out of the tank put in the race fuel in the standalone tank get all that set up we got to route the nitrous pur purge line hard line and then finally we'll be able to go get at least hopefully one test run and just see how the nitrous feels and hopefully everything works perfectly and if everything works well man it's gonna be fun but anyways guys let's get right to it well guys we're at it again and if you see I have actually routed my purge line now this came of course round up in a coil and it's actually super pliable and super easy to bend guys as you guys can see i was able to make quite a bit of bends back and forth but this is kind of where i was able to get it so it could run out of the windshield now of course i can always redo this line however many times i need but originally the plan was going to go have it come back out all the way and then follow under here kind of tucked out of the way come out here and then go out but there this line was not long enough so hence why we have to go straight across here but i do plan on possibly getting this line either powder coated or painted it's installed and i can remove it very easily and that is good to go i've also got my brand new ngk ltr7 heat range spark plugs got four i've already pre-gapped them using my little gap tool here very very easy nothing too difficult so we've got the spark plugs we've routed the purge and we've got the nitrous bottle full there was only one missing piece to the puzzle the c16 racing fuel guys that is right we've got the c16 in so now we can drain the 93 octane that's in the fuel tank right now that we use to set up all our fuel pressures and go ahead and fill it up with about two and a half gallons probably is what I'll do just so that it can be full and full. I want to be able to measure and see just how much the fuel it consumes per bottle of nitrous. So we'll fill this up to about two and a half gallons which is the size of our dedicated fuel tank in this car. And then we'll be able to compare a brand new full 15 pound bottle with two and a half gallons and see just how much fuel the car runs through with the 15 pound bottle. So here we have cylinder number one here, the very front cylinder. And you can see it's pretty clean. No oil, we just have a little bit of that anti-seize at the back. And these were NGK LTR6. So our new ones are sevens which is one step colder and that is so that we can run all the way up to a 150 shot this side guys with the nitrous install doesn't seem like we're gonna have much more of like any difference in terms of spacing to remove them with even with this regulator it is up out in the way so don't think we're gonna have too much issue on this side and of course on this side we are going to go ahead and remove our purge line and actually we're going to loosen up this tank here and disconnect it from the back line here clamp this main line pull this and lift it up over to the front similar to when we did our headers and that's just going to give us plenty of more room to work and be able to get to especially the front spark plug here so that's just kind of some tips and tricks of changing the spark plugs on this car it makes it a lot easier if we can just remove that tank from the side so as you guys can see by moving this big hose kind of out of the way and i just kind of plugged it and left it there on the side it's got actually a little compression clip in the back so that nothing can kind of seep back out and then i'll just have this rag there i'll swap it out if need be but that kind of moves this out of the way and allows me to it goes in on this side so that major clamp i can move out of the way and now this just kind of goes stays up in the air like this so that the rest of this doesn't leak and it gives me plenty of room now to work around this area 
So this is the third one from here and pretty much most of the other two from the front uh, have been looking like this on this side. A little bit of that kind of orangey, tangy little look. Nothing crazy. I mean, the spark plug still looks pretty good. And definitely not as clean as the driver's side. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think that is? Why this side would have more of a tangier look compared to the driver's side. But still doesn't look bad at all. Still looks very good. Man, that very last one, guys. Very tricky. It, I was still able to use this gear wrench 5 8 kind of flexible uh, socket wrench. It's got a magnet there to hold everything in place and to protect the porcelain. But I wasn't able to use my standard just regular wrench. I had to go to a smaller little stubby one that I bought and this one's kind of got angles and it let me kind of fit all the way in the back because it's of course angled this way so it kind of fits this way and then you kind of angle it out and then i used a little pry bar just to be able to get enough leverage to break it loose of course these things had as you guys can see an anti-seize lubricant which i am also putting which is very important because if i'm going to be using nitrous i'm going to be checking these plugs very often and some of those plugs like those in the back might need to be checked just to make sure everything's running well probably change out the plugs every 500 to a thousand miles or so at least check them to make sure that everything's going good the afr is reading well and that our spark plugs are looking healthy so definitely need to buy a little bits and pieces and ends to make this so much easier of a job so you see it guys we've got the pump filling and you can actually see it pouring in the fuel looks like we gotta straighten this out here but it's almost done and now we can go check the pump in the back and see just how much is still left in the tank the tank is pretty much on E and that means you guys can see it is completely drained which is perfect because now we're going to fill up with about two and a half gallons of our c16 and we're going to be ready to get our first nitrous pulls guys check out how c16 looks it is basically blue that is crazy now this is pretty cool because you know if you've got the cap and it's got a little snout and since we're pouring into the trunk, we're going to have to be very careful, but I do have my filler here, so we should be okay. So there you go. As you guys can see, it's pretty much full. Everything is completely submerged. And of course, I believe it still has this top area for the venting and all that. And I've got it open right now. But for now, we're going to close this up and we're good to go with our fuel here. Now, the bottle is plugged in it's full and I can't really tell I can't see the edge but it's I'd say this was about that much so one tank is I'd say right around two gallons is what it'll co hold comfortably so not bad this should last me quite a bit now we just got to make sure we cr close it back up because we don't want this to lose its potency the more that it is vented to atmosphere, the more it'll actually uh, basically lose its power. So for the nitrous bottle heating, guys, this is what I'll be using. And it is just one of those little portable propane tanks with a little auto igniter thing that I bought. Makes it very easy and you're going to just ignite it and then and then get in here and just kind of move it all the way across from back and forth along the bottle and you'll start seeing the pressure go up and now you don't want it going too high as you guys can see because these bottles can only handle so much and the last thing you want is for something to burst but you just heat it just enough to get it around the 950 mark and then you're good to go spraying okay so the bottle is now at exactly 1000 psi i've got the valve open Guys, we are ready for the very first test hit on nitrous. All right, guys, so we've got the scanner going, data logging. We're going to arm the system once we get ready. I've already done the purge, which you guys will see basically. There you 
there you go the car is ready to go now we can arm it and do what we got to do but we've got our AFR everything is reading so let's go ahead and do our very first 50 horsepower test shot but we've got the system armed and of course you can be driving and as long as you're not in the window or on the throttle it's not going to spray guys we're going to go ahead we're in sport we're going to put it in complete traction and stability control off because we do not want it to close the throttle body or do any kind of you know funky things to cut power so we want to just make sure that if it spins it spins but it's only a 50 shot so we should be just fine i don't think we'll have much of an issue with it man i'm excited guys i am excited this is going to be fun again we're going to do it from a third gear and then go from there so we'll drop it down to third gear and it'll have to be from like a 35 because third gear we're still not at 3000 so we'll try something right here wow you could definitely feel definitely feel the, the nitrous kick in on that one guys wow Holy As soon as you punch it you can feel the nitrous kick in Man that felt good and I, I don't know if you guys saw the rpm, but whoo That felt insane so Wow Let's do it from like fourth in From fourth from a 40 and go can definitely notice even just a 50 shot wow all right i don't want to try too much because we haven't seen the logs and i want to make sure i send those over to pat but even on a 50 shot you can feel the car just want to keep going harder holy that is insane Woo! that is crazy guys I'll see you guys back at the house. Well guys, that thing felt really nice. Now, the log still showed it at almost 12.8, which is basically almost the same AFR as the car runs with the nitrous off, which is not a good thing. We really don't want this spraying any bigger shots at that and keeping that same 12 and a half, 12.8. We want it down in the 11.8, 12.0 range. Now, one thing that could be the issue is of course our fuel pressure once the nitrous actually flows fuel and you have flow then the pressure the running flowing pressure is going to be a lot different and i was able to notice that whenever i was trying to drain the tank back there and i had just this line completely open with no back pressure obviously this had no pressure it was almost at zero psi so i can imagine when it's actually flowing nitrous this is actually probably reading a lot less flowing fuel pressure causing my relays to not activate now i felt the car hard and it felt good but that's just because i haven't probably driven the car a lot and i'm not used to the power this car has a lot of power just na so we're gonna probably raise the fuel pressure up to 55 psi and leave it with the 17 fuel jet to give it a little bit more fuel and see if we can get that air and fuel ratio down some and hopefully that'll work but as you guys can see we're running out of daylight and so i'm gonna have to end it here but we'll catch you guys in the next episode where we'll go ahead and try it again with different fuel pressures and actually go through a 50 100 and 150 shots so i'll see you guys in the next video